Hey guys, today is Friday, September the uh, 21st. So I hope y'all's Friday is starting out okay. And um, just keep watch, guys, day in, day out. And you know, realize we're getting very close. I I believe we're getting very close. Personally, I, I don't see how this can continue on much longer. You know, the way we see everything getting worse and worse and the wickedness and the evil it's growing it's get it's ex- exploding it's getting worse and worse and i believe the the lord's about to put his foot down to all of this and we're about to be delivered so just keep watch and realize you know jesus he's coming to get us and i, I believe pretty soon and guys i yeah i want to i, I want to You know, I'm thinking back on some old dreams. And so in this video, I want to mention a specific, you know, I'm thinking back on some dreams that could be, you know, connecting to the fall season, autumn, the season of fall we're about to enter. So I want to, you know, put up some videos about that. And so I want to bring up an old dream. But before I go into this old dream, recently, recently, I, um, and even a few months ago, I want to bring up a set of some dreams, like two I just had recently, and then one a few months ago about like chocolate, chocolate drinks, you know, like hot chocolate, chocolate flavored drinks, stuff like that. And so last night I had a, a dream, a sh- short one I want to mention. I had some other ones, but there's one I want to mention relating to this whole chocolate drink thing. I had like a cup of hot chocolate. It was a very short dream, and I remember I was just drinking it. You know, and I I think I was drinking it pretty fast. I'm pretty sure it was hot chocolate. It was some sort of chocolate drink. I think it was hot chocolate. It was just very short. And then it it, it connects back to even a few days ago. Okay, so a few days ago, I had a dream. Um, I'm not going to go over the whole dream, but what I will say is in one portion of the dream, I was looking at a menu. And it was like, I I guess it was a menu for like a drink place, a place where you get slushies, smoothies. Um, coffee, teas, non-alcoholic beverages, like just a drink shop. And I was looking at a menu and, and I was, I was looking at a menu. I was holding a menu and on the right side, the right side of the menu, I noticed it was a lot of chocolate drinks, chocolate, this chocolate, that chocolate, chocolate, you know, hot chocolate. I'm pretty sure I saw hot chocolate. There's chocolate, chocolate, all sorts of different chocolate drinks, all different varieties, all about chocolate. Like it was, they were all in the the names of the drinks, chocolate, this chocolate, that. And I think I remember saying or thinking to myself, like, wow, lots of chocolate drinks, you know? And then, then at the bottom left of the menu, the bottom left, there was an area for seasonal. I think it was labeled like seasonal drinks, seasonal. And I think it was stuff like more fall, like pumpkin, you know, pumpkin spice, pumpkin this, pumpkin flavored. I think I'd seen pumpkin flavored drinks as, as the seasonal. And the important thing, that was on the left side on the bottom. So left side of the menu on the bottom. The chocolate drinks were like all along the right side. There was a bunch of them, maybe like 20. But um, the seasonal, the position of the seasonal left lower makes me think of left behind, left lower portion of the menu, left behind as in we could be getting raptured out of here in the fall and those that are going to be left behind will be left behind. But the chocolate, so the chocolate on the right side of the menu, and this connects back to a dream I believe I had back maybe in, it was maybe February or March of this year, 2018. I think it might have been like February or March, earlier portion of the year, where I was in once again, and in this dream, I was in in that dream from months ago, I was in a, like another, a drink shop. It was a shop where you get, you know, slushies, smoothies, teas, coffees, non-alcoholic stuff. And I, I remember I was placing my order and to the, you know, the lady and I told her, I, you know, I want a, a classic hot chocolate. So it was, I told her I wanted a classic hot chocolate. And that's pretty much where the dream ended, I think. So classic hot chocolate. So there's the chocolate drink again in the, the classic. So the classic, um, I'd always thought the letter C, it was important. Something about the letter C, that's the third letter. I was thinking back then, maybe something about March, the, the third month. So classic hot chocolate. There was that dream. And so it's like, yeah. And then, so I'm thinking there's something going on with the chocolate. And so I don't, you know, you know, the Lord could be pointing to once again, it could just be a seasonal reference to, you know, colder weather. You drink hot chocolate in, you know, the winter, I guess maybe the fall too, but especially the winter when it gets really cold. 
So, I mean, we're about to enter fall. Temperatures are going to drop. So it could be a seasonal reference. I'm not sure what else. I was looking into it. Like, here's hot chocolate. <sighs> the page for hot chocolate on Wikipedia. So nothing soup, you know, majorly stands out. You know, it was created by Mayans like 3,000 years ago. Popular for the Aztecs. They referred to it as ex -colodal. Um, Introduced from Mexico into the New World. I mean, there wasn't anything overly major that stood out. I mean, it said it was, in a lot of these cultures back then, it was associated with maybe the, the upper class. Um, yeah, like, drink popular with Spanish upper class. Very expensive back then. Um, but other than that, there wasn't anything major I could find about it. Um... Yeah, there wasn't anything overly major. So I think it could be more of a seasonal reference. But let me know if I'm missing anything on that. But it's like been a lot, you know, this chocolate drink stuff. There's something going on there. And so, okay, now I want to go back to a dream. I want to bring up a dream that um, could be pointed to the fall season. And this dream I had probably a long time ago, may have been a couple years ago, even two, three. It, it could have, it's probably been at least a couple years ago. And I've mentioned it in the past, I think, on video. But in this dream, I was I was at the fr out front of our house. You know, I was out in front of our house, and um, well, kind of in between, out front, between our and our neighbors, but out front. And there was a a big gathering of people. So there was a large gathering of people, and we were all pretty much watching this one guy speak. So this guy was speaking to, to it, to, to us, the crowd. And he was standing on like a, a box, you know, someone just standing on like an impromptu speech, like standing on like a box or a crate carton. And he was like the speaker. So he was speaking and he was repeatedly saying the, the rapture will be during the feast of tabernacles. The rapture will be during the feast of tabernacles. So he kept saying this over and over. And at a certain point, it's like he was done. It all ended, you know, the, the hoopla, the, the hurrah, as it was like a gathering, a large gathering of people watching this guy announce it, like a, you know, like a town crier or someone announcing the news. And that's all I remember him repeatedly saying, the rapture will be during the Feast of Tabernacles. So after that was done, the crowd dispersed. So the crowd, everyone broke up, the crowd dispersed. And so at this point, me and a guy, we started walking from the front of our house, we went down the street, we entered the alley, and we worked our way behind the, our house. So behind, behind the house. So we were in front of the house, then we, me and this guy, after the crowd dispersed, me and this guy kind of were walking next to each other, and we entered the alley to go behind the house. And so as we were behind the house, we, me and the guy were talking, and at a certain point, I took my hand and I cupped it around his ear, like when you're you're whispering someone a secret, when you're telling someone a secret, I, I put, cupped my hand around his ear, I put my, you know, to, to whisper into his ear, and I said, you know, I told him it, it will happen during Hanukkah, like I was saying, you know, the rapture, it will happen during Hanukkah, that's what I whispered to him, it was like almost like an inside secret between me and this guy, it may have been like an Indian guy or something, but it was a male, it was a guy. And so we were walking to go behind the house and that's where the dream ended. So just, just yesterday, I just realized I could never figure out, I, I believe the Lord could be pointing to a time frame, not specifically tabernacles or Hanukkah in particular. I believe he could be pointing to the time frame, a high watch time frame for the rapture of being from Feast of Tabernacles all the way up to Hanukkah. So the time frame from Feast of Tabernacles up to Hanukkah, and, and of course, including the Feast of Tabernacles and Hanukkah. So I believe it could be in reference to the time frame. Because I just realized, I could never, like, I just realized it could be a time frame because the dream, the dream, very clear, the, the guy the, on the front, the box, the rapture will be during the Feast of Tabernacles. He's announcing this. The crowd, that's the attention. This is the time frame we're in now, guys. September, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Feast of Tabernacles. Everyone's looking for now, 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 rapture, September, now, now, now. In the dream, it was a crowd. That's where all the attention was. The guy was on the box announcing this to the crowd. 
but then the crowd dispersed. So that's making me think, okay, if we get through Feast of Tabernacles, a lot of people are going to be down and out. They're going to be like, you know, the rapture's, you know, years off or we got lots of time left. So if we go past Tabernacles, you know, everyone's going to be down and out, feeling depressed that the rapture didn't happen in September. And so that dream, I'm thinking that crowd, all the, all the focus was on the guy speaking. Everyone was, it was, you know, an energetic crowd. Well, everyone dispersed because I'm thinking if we get through um, Tabernacles, you know, everyone's going to be down and out, depressed. The rapture didn't happen. So the thing was, I started walking down the alley, this one other guy, and I told him the I whispered in his ear, you know, it will be there in Hanukkah. One other detail I forgot. After I whispered that in the guy's ear, I think he had said like, well, it could happen at any time. I think he's, and I had agreed. I think he was saying, well, actually, you know, it can happen at any time. And I think I agreed. I was like, well, yeah, yeah, true. And I think that's where the dream ended. But I believe it's a time frame, guys, because, you know, you when you go travel somewhere, you go from point A to point B. You, you leave a location you in a, and you have a destination. You leave somewhere and you have an arrival destination. Well, the beginning of the dream was at the front of the house. The guy was saying the rapture will be there in Feast of Tabernacles. Then me and the crowd dispersed. Me and the guy walked down the alley. Our destination behind the house represents point B. And I was whispering in the guy's ear, the rapture will be during Hanukkah. And then I think we both agreed it can happen at any time. But I've now realized I believe it's in reference to a time frame, as in keep watch between the Feast of Tabernacles and Hanukkah, as in, you know, we walked from the front of the house to the rear of the house, from the guy saying Tabernacles to the rear of the house where I told the guy Hanukkah. That's successive, you know, that's like a, a trip, you know, a, a watch time frame. So I believe we need to heavily watch now during fall. So Feast of Tabernacles to Hanukkah. And if you look here on the Jewish calendar, Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, begins September 23rd in September 30th. And Hanukkah this year, 2018, on the Jewish calendar, begins Sunday, December 2nd, ends Monday, December 10th. So the fall, pretty much the fall season. So high watch pretty much between now and the beginning of winter. So this fall, I believe this could be the time. And, and you know, I hope it is. Because I'm, 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 yeah, I don't, I don't know how much more this we could go through. Like I'm, this is, you know, I believe this is it. All, all I'm being shown is this is over. Nothing, the Lord's not showing me anything indicating this is going to extend out, you know, off into the future years or any stuff like that. And I, I don't, you know, if we go into 2019, that would be very troubling. Like I, I'll be, you know, basically borderline speechless. If we go into 2019, I'll be very surprised. And at that point, I'll, it's, I don't know. That won't be good. But we got to look now, this fall, as I'm just thinking back on that dream, pointing to this fall. So keep watch between tabernacle, tabernacles and Hanukkah. And, um, and I'll probably load up successive videos about previous dreams. There's one other particular one I can think of off the top of my head now point into fall season so I'll probably put up other videos in the future when I you know I'll think try to think back on all old dreams connect in the fall but keep watch guys I wanted to let y'all know about that and um just realize our redemption draw if not Jesus he's coming back soon to get his bride you know the wise brides he's coming to get us you know he's gonna deliver us and I believe our you know our job here is just about finished and if y'all have any input, let me know, like about the hot chocolate. For example, I could be missing something. Um, definitely something about the hot chocolate, chocolate drinks. And, you know, I'll catch y'all later. A God bless in the name of Jesus Christ.